Welcome back. Americans have missions all over the world, of course, to help people in need. One outreach program uh, headquartered in Colombia makes special vehicles for handicapped people, especially in third world nations, but it has another project, too. KRCG 13's Carissa Bealey spent some time with the founder of the Colombia-based PET project and was left with inspiration. Carissa. Thank you. I was Mel West Personal Energy Transportation Machines pet machines help handicapped persons find a new life of hope, pride, comfort, and productivity. But the pet machines aren't the only machines I ran across during my visit. The place was filled with sewing machines. This man isn't just threading an ordinary needle. He's threading together new starts for individuals overseas that need a new life of hope. So when I retired, my wife had a sewing machine that she couldn't get fixed. I sat down in about 30 minutes, I had it fixed, and so I said, this is pretty interesting. So Jim started buying, restoring, and collecting old sewing machines at his home. Pretty soon I was buying them and sticking them in the house. My wife said, no more. You've got the house filled up with sewing machines. So uh, then I start looking for a place that I could do that, and so it worked out well. Now, Jim is better known as the sewing machine man, at least here at the pet warehouse where he's volunteered his time weekly for four years. Flowed in and out of here, and people didn't really know my name, so they started calling me, there's a guy, the sewing machine guy, when they, when they saw me. So that's how it started, and I think it's stuck. Since Jim has been volunteering his time, around 300 machines a year are sent overseas. When Jim came along, we stepped up considerably our volume and uh, are glad we could because they're, they're in need all over the world. The donated and restored sewing machines go to non-governmental organizations who distribute them to people they know are in need and may benefit from the machines by making a living, mostly single mothers. The shipment from here in Missouri includes everything one would need to get started. In a few examples, we were told sewing machines sent to San Jose reportedly saved women from sexual slavery. And in Guatemala, thanks to the machines, homeless men had new shirts gifted to them by the seamstresses on Father's Day. If you do a good thing, and the Sewing Machine Project is, and do it well, and we do it well, Jim does it exceptionally well, and let people know about it, that's what we're doing now, uh, good people want to help. Mel's motto seems to hold true as he, his wife, and now Jim, the Sewing Machine Man, have been successful in threading together new starts for those in need with the Sewing Machine Project for over 40 years. Mel and Jim always need sewing machines and they ask you to bring them on in if you'd like. They also accept donations for the items including in the, that they include in the package and as well for those shipping costs. Now some of the footage that you did not see with my time spent there um, with Mel and the Sewing Machine Man, you can see that on KRCG's YouTube channel. And Mel, right behind me, will be stepping down as Pet Project Leader on his 90th birthday, which is May 21st of 2014. Wow. Well, he gets to retire? Apparently so. <laughs> I have a 